Welcome to my draw. Today we will talk about how to use tables. A table is a grid of cells arranged in rows and columns. Tables are primarily used to display tabular data such as data tables, invoices, and others. In my draw each table is treated as a single shape, and you can connect other shapes or tables to the table ports that appear along the edges of the table. To insert a table click on the table, insert, and move the mouse pointer over the grid until you highlight the desired number of rows and columns. Piece of cake. After you insert a table into the drawing, you can resize the table, modify the number of rows and columns it contains, or insert text content in the table cells. To resize a table just drag one of the table handles that appear along the edges of the currently selected table. If you want to change the width of a column, position the mouse over the right border of the column and press the left mouse button. Then drag the mouse to the left or right. To change the height, select the bottom border of the row that you want to resize. Then press the left mouse button and drag the mouse upwards or downwards. To add a new column to a table, select the column or any cell which is inside the column and click on the insert left or insert right button. Similarly to insert a new row, select the row or any cell inside a row and click on the insert below or insert above button. In case you want to delete a range of columns or rows, you can simply select the range inside the table and then click the delete button and select whether to delete the ranges columns or rows from the delete button drop down menu. Sometimes you need longer span on the same row. My draw allows you to create cells that span more than one row or column. Those cells are called merged, master, cells. To merge a cell with its adjacent cells, select the range of cells that you want the newly merged cell to span and click the merge cells button. First, move the text caret to the text inside the cell you want to split and press the split cell horizontally or split cell vertically button depending on whether you want to split the cell horizontally or vertically. You can split a cell horizontally or vertically only if it spans more than one row or column respectively. You can change the alignment of the table cells content quickly and easily by clicking one of the alignment buttons which are placed in the alignment and direction group. Align top left, align top center, align top right, align middle left, align middle center and so on. In some cases, you may also want to change the text direction inside a table cell. For example, you may want the text to be vertical instead of horizontal. You can change text direction by following these steps. Select the cell whose text direction you want to change. Click on the table cell text direction button. Each cell in a table can have its fill and line settings. You can create fancy tables with different colors or border styles for certain rows, columns, or individual cells. Cool, right? To change the cell background fill, select the cell which background you want to change, click on a cell background button which is in table style ribbon, pick the color that you want from custom colors, to use a different gradient, hatch your image fill, click on the more options button and choose the filling according to your needs. You can add or remove borders to format a table the way that you want. In the table style group, select the cell border and thickness button. You can use one of the predefined styles or make a custom one when you click on the more options button. You can add a border to a specific cell, column, or row. To do that, just select the region that you want to have a different border and choose the desired border settings. That's it we've merely scratched the surface on what you can achieve using tables in MyDraw. So don't hesitate and try all new things you've learned today. Till next time, and another exciting topic.